Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. Union Minister of State for Home Affairs Kiran Rejiju recently visited the St. Anthony College in Shillong to attend the 10th Biennial National Conference of the PANE. Speaking to media persons during the event and commenting on PM Modi's decision to ban 500,000 rupees notes, Rijiju said that the demonetization of rupees 1,000 and rupees 500 notes will lead to closure of printing press in Pakistan where fake Indian currency notes are printed. Congratulating the Prime Minister for the bold decision, Rijiju said the action will check corruption and black money besides curbing terror funding and circulation of fake Indian currency notes. India has been facing this grave challenges of corruption, black money, which is circulating very heavily in India, illegal. Now with this decision, it is not only to check the corruption and black money, but it will also stop terror funding and circulation of the fake Indian currency north. Recently, an MOU was signed between Ministry of Civil Aviation, Government of India and Government of Manipur and Airports Authority of India for implementation of regional connectivity scheme in the state in the presence of Manipur Chief Minister O. Ibobi Singh and Union Minister of Civil Aviation Ashok Gajapati Raju Pusapati. The primary objective of the scheme is to facilitate regional air connectivity by making it affordable by supporting airline operators through concession from central government, state governments and airport operators to reduce cost of airline on regional routes, etc. It may be mentioned that the Federal Ministry of Civil Aviation released the National Civil Aviation Policy 2016. Two of its key objectives are to enhance regional connectivity through fiscal support and infrastructure development and to establish an integrated ecosystem which will lead to significant growth of civil aviation sector. After the declaration by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on banning of existing 500,000 rupees notes as a move towards eradicating black money and corruption, people were seen in long queues outside cash deposit machine counters waiting to deposit money. In Tripura, depositors supporting the decision of the Prime Minister expressed that initially common people may have to face little problem but were hopeful that ultimately it will benefit the nation. Similarly, People in Assam's Guwahati city applauded Prime Minister Modi's decision to ban 500,000 notes and revamp the currency as it can be beneficial for the whole nation. Recently, a Northeast Green Summit was held in Tura town of Meghalaya which was attended by a large number of students and people from all walks of life in a bid to create awareness about preserving a healthier and greener environment. Inaugurating the summit, Secretary Ministry of Donair, Naveen Verma, highlighted the importance of rich natural resources of Northeast. He said, We have to convert our resources to wealth, which is a way towards sustainable development and economic gains. Further, National People's Party Chief and Tura Lok Sabha MP Conrad K. Sangma urged every child in the state to adopt a tree and contribute to the cause of a greener earth. Samantha Gash, a 31-year-old ultra-marathon runner from Melbourne, Australia, undertook a grueling run across the diverse terrain to raise awareness on multiple barriers in assessing education in India. Samantha has run over 3,000 kilometres from one of the driest deserts in Jaisalmer, Rajasthan, to the east of India, ending in Shillong, which is one of the wettest places in the world. She crossed eight states in 12 weeks. Samantha has also raised money for World Vision's projects working in the areas of malnutrition, access to water and sanitation, child marriage and gender bias. To revive the ecosystem and protection and conservation of wildlife in the state, recently an awareness campaign on mitigation of human-animal conflict was held in Baisam Pekwam village and the parent district of Nagaland. The event was organised by the Wildlife Wing of Nagaland Department of Environment, Forest and Climate Change in collaboration with Fingerprint Nagaland and Castle Group and sponsored by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. 
Addressing the event as a chief guest, Nagaland Chief Minister T.R. Zeliang said that the year 2017 will be declared as the year of plantation in order to revive our ecosystem. He also released one satellite tag migratory Amur Falcon named Itanki as part of the campaign, which soon disappeared into the thick forest of Itanki National Park. People of Manipur recently celebrated a festival of thanksgiving and prayers titled Chavang Kut with fervour and zest. Kut Festival is the premier festival of the Kuki Chin Mizo groups of Manipur and the main function was held at first Manipur Rifles Ground in Imphal. Kut Festival is an autumn festival and marks the ending of the harvest season. To preserve and promote the tribal culture of the state, a two-day tribal cultural heritage meet was organized at Agartala Town Hall in Tripura. Organized for the third time by ONGC Tripura, asset in which all the 19 tribes of Tripura, of which some are on the verge of extinction, participated. During the two-day cultural event, various traditional dances of indigenous tribes of Tripura were performed showcasing the rich culture and traditions. People from all walks of life across Assam gathered to pay a rich tribute to the legendary singer Bhupen Hazarika on his death anniversary. As a mark of tribute to the music maestro, more than 5,000 students gathered in Guwahati's Nehru Stadium singing song written by Bhupen Hazarika, denouncing terrorism. The program named Atongkobad Hushiar, Terrorism Beware, was organized by the Assam unit of Sanskar Bharati, a cultural outfit to pay tribute to Hazarika and protest against terrorism in all its forms and manifestations.